Alright, we're done with our 1G and 2G, so we're going to move to our 3G, which is vertical. Still using SMAW, 3G vertical up. This is going to be the kind of the position of the plates. This is kind of a harder one to draw on the board. I just kind of drew it like I did the 2G. And this would be your bevel and your root opening again, 16th of an inch. Um, these are your passes. First one's going to be 60, 60, 60 10, 332. Uh, no weave. And then the rest of the way out with your 7018s, you're going to put a weave in this all the way out to the last one so you get used to going up. That's why I like to have people do weaves. So number two, 7018 eighth inch weave. Number three, 7018 eighth inch weave. And your fourth pass is going to be 7018 eighth inch weave. Your bead progression isn't going to be um, stacking them. It's going to be more like weaving all the way across the joint and going up until you fill it up. What you want to do is go over, hold, go over, hold. Go over, hold, go over, hold. If you run a straight stringer bead, it's going to be really high and ropey. So. We're going to go into our root pass for um, 3G stick welding. We're using a 6010 rod. It's uh, regular, not 5P plus. It's uh, a little bit more violent. I like it. A lot of people don't like it because it has a lot of spatter, so they get 5P plus. I guess it's just all on uh, your preference. Our machine is going to be set to around 70 amps. That's where you're going to want it, give or take. If you use 5P plus, you might need a little bit more because it's not as violent with an arc, you don't get that dig. This is uh, the bevel that I put on it, 30 degree included angle, roughly eighth of an inch um, face on it. And I'll put it together and uh, we'll just tack it up. I usually flip it over on the back side like this. And then I'll run the tack across here and then across here. All right, so we'll tack it up there. One side, one the other. one angle from the front of me trying to get full penetration through here and then I'll move the camera to the back so you can see it from the back side. Your goal in life here is to get full penetration and not have any lack of fusion on your roof. When I restart a bead, you see I have this little keyhole here so I'm going to strike the arc right here let the arc establish and then plunge it back down into that keyhole. Uh, there's the penetration on our root pass. We got a couple uh, errors, lack of fusion right there with the um, the plate actually fell off the table. Didn't have a good enough tack, and our restart was a little sketchy. It's probably 85% there. What we're gonna do now is go to our cover passes. We're gonna do roughly four passes. Uh, all the weave with 718, eighth of an inch. So we're gonna go over here and make the necessary adjustments. Go to uh, 115, I usually run around 120, but because uh, we're doing vertical, you might want to cool it down a little bit. You know, we'll see how that uh, runs.
this is uh, the first pass of 7018. Kind of ran out of rod a little bit, but that's just where we're going to end up uh, ending the weld here. Now we're gonna Alright, that's our second pass of 7018. It's gonna take two rods. We got about halfway up. So we're gonna get a new rod going and finish her up. This is the uh, second uh, layer of 7018. Took two passes. Uh, well, it actually took two rods, so I got about halfway. Now we're going to go on to our covers. This is our uh, first section of the final pass. We got about halfway up, so we're gonna strike another arc. It looks pretty good so far. Yep. the final pass um, the only error I really see is maybe that start and stop right there if you want to look 
it's within the tolerance so it's not above an eighth of an inch it's filled with a full cross section there's the root again we had some errors in the root but 